Hey guys, so according to a poll that I put out a while back, many of you guys are keen to learn how we can use data mine data to not only find out the responses that give credit to dialogue achievements, but also and more importantly, whether or not new content patches introduce any new responses that give credit to these dialogue achievements in order to make sure that we don't miss any of those pesky gendered or pessimistic trailblazer of responses. So thankfully, we don't actually have to do any of the data mining ourselves, thanks to some amazing people such as Dimbreath, who so graciously tears down these preloads and patches for us each version and uploads it to GitHub. This is, of course, a lot of information in its raw form. So in this guide, we're going to go through exactly how we interpret this data in order to find the information that is relevant to us. So just a bit of background, MiHoYo typically releases preloads roughly three days in advance. And historically, Dimbreath takes roughly one to three days to update his GitHub. So for example, if we look here, we can see that for version 1.2, the preload was made available on the 17th. And we can see some commits from Dim starting from the 18th all the way through to the 20th. And so what this means is that as long as you're not rushing straight into the new quest content within the first few hours of release, we're able to get a fairly solid idea of whether or not new responses have been introduced into the game within the first 24 hours or so of a new patch, if not sooner. And of course, if you're a subscriber to my channel, you would have seen the community post that I send out at the start of every patch updating you on this fact. Now, if you don't want to have to wait for me, then this is what we're here for. I'll show you exactly how I do it, so let's just jump straight in. The data for Honkai Star Rail is stored here in Dim's repository under Star Rail Data, and I'll have a link to it down in the description. Here in the folder text map are the JSON files for all the lines of text found within the game. So any new responses that come with the new patch will also live here. But obviously we're not going to go in here and manually read every single line because even if we did, there's no way of telling if a particular line actually gives credit to the achievements at all. So instead, what we're going to do is punch into the search bar on the left here, inclination. And we're firstly going to make ourselves familiar with this file here named inclination type.json. So what we first need to understand is that the term inclination is how the game defines responses that lean a particular way. So this is perfect because this includes all of our dialogue achievements, namely hot-blooded trailblazer, pessimistic trailblazer, apologetic trailblazer, silent trailblazer, the echoer, and the meaning of choice. So what we can see on screen here under inclination type are all the inclination type ID numbers with each type of response stored under a certain ID. For example, 1001 is hot-blooded, 1002 is pessimistic, 1003 is apologetic, 1004 is silent, 2001 is the echoer, and 3001 is the meaning of choice. So I'll put all this down in the description so you guys can refer to it. But actually, what's interesting is that there are a bunch of inclination ID numbers that are being used in the game, and in that sense, the game is actively tracking your response options for these IDs but they aren't tied to any achievements and we currently don't know what it's actually categorizing. So these IDs are 4001 to 4007. So now that we've familiarized ourselves with the inclination type IDs, let's go ahead and use them. So let's use 3001 as an example because it's tied to the meaning of choice which are the gender dialogue responses and it's probably the one that most of you guys are currently missing. So back over to the search bar, let's search for inclination again, but this time let's jump into inclination text.json. Now, this page is super useful to us because it lists every single response in the game that is tied to an inclination. So that's perfect. And so if we control F here and punch in 3001, we can see that we have five results. And just as an FYI, this is how I find out so quickly if a patch contains any new gender dialogue responses and how I'm able to so quickly notify you guys that it's safe to go through your story quest. It's because I already know that there are five gendered responses in the game. So if 1.3 comes along and I go in here and I control F3001 and it pops up five results, then I know there's nothing new to look for and we go back to sleep. But if six results pop up, then bam, we know for sure that a new response has been added to the patch and we throw some confetti and continue our search. So anyway, continuing on with this, I'm going to show you how we use this to then pinpoint the exact line in the game that is tied to this inclination. So using our first result for 3001, here is an example, we can see that it's tied to this talk sentence ID number 10101050. Then we're just going to copy this number and we're going to go back to our search bar and we're going to look for the file talk sentence config.json. And now jumping into talk sentence config, we're going to go control F 
and we're gonna search for that talk sentence ID number that we copied previously. And so here it is, this is the result we're looking for. What we wanna copy here is not the first hash code, but the second hash code under talk sentence text. So that number is 141079-8888. And now that we have the hash, we're gonna jump all the way back to the main directory. We're gonna go back into that first JSON file that we looked at at the start of the video under text map. And here we're gonna go inside textmapen.json because I speak English, but of course, if you play with a different language, you can go in the text file for your language. And so now that we're inside the text map JSON file, uh, this is the last step. We can search for that talk sentence text hash and ta-da, here we go. Didn't someone mention a pillow fight? Now, if you watched my previous video on the meaning of choice gendered dialogues, you'll be familiar with this response. So this is the one that is only available to the female MC. And we can see here that as it's denoted by the F hash in front of the sentence with no M hash alternative for the male MC. And so there it is guys, that's how we use data mine data to find inclination responses. So let me know if you found that helpful and if you did I would really appreciate a like and subscribe. As you can see I'm a fairly new content creator for Honkai Star Rail but I really enjoy making content that's useful for you guys so I really appreciate the love and support. If there's any achievements that you guys need help with or if you have any questions feel free to shoot me a comment. See ya!